Warning! Poland is RNG-based. Sometimes, if Jeremy is just way too good, you just can't do anything. You might have to server hop a bit to find a good lobby. Poland is a country located in Eastern Europe. Its geography puts it in a very bad position. For historic reasons, this makes Poland one of the harder European countries to play. This is a full guide on how to play Poland and when. Before we actually start, I would just like to ask you to subscribe. Thanks. Sometimes, when playing Poland, Germany immediately declares war on you. If that happens, it will be hard for you to survive, but it's possible. Depending on the Germany player's skill. But you can't know if Germany will declare you or not, so I would always recommend starting off two electronic factories and a steel and mortar. In research, get factory output 2, and in policies, public service act. This basically allows us to sell three factories worth of electronics with just two factories. Fortify the city of Baitam, sorry if I mispronounced that, and justify on Lithuania and Latvia, and move your home guard there. The crown Lithuania and try to kill them out as fast as possible just for their money. Once the factory is out building, sell your electronics and spam as many tanks as you possibly can. You can also either try getting a good general or put your doctrine to mass attack for more manpower. Now, in my game, Germany didn't declare. Later, I will show a scenario where Germany declares, so stay tuned. And Russia didn't invade Eastern Europe, so I decided to just yoink it and form the Commonwealth. If Russia is expanding into Eastern European countries, then take Czechoslovakia and form Zapatoslavia. Or move to Scandinavia. If you form Poland Lithuania, then you're already stronger than Germany. In that case, just prepare your army to strike Germany. Always be ready in case of a German invasion or Russian invasion by having your tanks entrenched and fortified in your cities. If you can, buy or make an aircraft factory and make it attackers. Once you're ready to face Germany, just declare war. And if they have a lot of tanks or infantry, let them into your country. Use planes or artillery if possible, but don't engage in direct combat with tanks. Just let, leave your tanks in trench. Germany will, will most likely split their army, and in that case you can start either taking it out one by one or just waiting for them to rush down your fortifications. If you are much stronger than Germany, you can just invade them instead. If you take out Germany, you are most likely set for the game.
after taking out Germany, just build up more than you could so that you can eventually invade Russia. And if you haven't already, form the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. Or if they invade you first, of course, for Lithuania or any other Eastern European country that you invaded. If you manage to win against Russia, your practic is safe except if some other nations just want to kill you like China or USA, but as always that depends on the players and the lobby. If Germany decides to invade you instantly, then you have to pray that they are bad at the game and will split their entire army to auto capture, where you can just camp in your fort. I will be taking an example from one of my other videos where this happened. Sell the electronics, make tanks and fortify some of your cities. Entrench your tanks in your fortified cities and let the Germans in. The usual Germany player will just rush him down and try to kill him. Once you kill his army, you can strike him. Don't forget that if Germany is attacking one of your cities with a bigger force and flank them from the side with your different force. Germany should run out of manpower or money so you can So yeah, Poland it won the poll by getting over 50% of the votes. I will be releasing a new poll for the next country soon, so don't forget to vote once that is out. But anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more types of this content, just leave a like and subscribe. I hope that you have a great rest of your day and goodbye.